student loans paid off. All of them are 100% gone. I made one payment in the year 1990, and now all of them are gone. Paid off by the federal government. After watching so many TikTok and YouTube videos, I was surprised that so many still do not know about this federal law. However, there are still over 2 million people over the age of 60 that are still paying off their student loans. So this video will help everyone, even the people who are over 60 and still paying off their student loans. The information in this video can drop your student loan payments to zero, and whatever remains after 25 years, the government will pay off. Income Repayment Plan Currently there's about 2 million people who are on Social Security or retired and are still paying their student loans. An income repayment plan will help most of these people. Plus, we believe that going into an income repayment plan right after college, especially if you did not graduate, is one of the best things you can do. An income repayment plan is a monthly payment plan that is based on your income. The duration is about 25 years. Plus, after 25 years, whatever balance is left to pay on your student loans are automatically discharged. Thus, if you graduated college at age 22, then 25 years later, when you're 47, whatever balance is left on your student loans will automatically be discharged. Plus, before you start paying anything, your income must be 150% above poverty. This is about $14,000 per year for a person who is single. Next, you only have to pay 20% of your income that is above the poverty line. This is 20% above $14,000. For example, if your income is $16,000 and the poverty line is $14,000, then you will pay 20% of $2,000, or $400 per year, which is $84 per month. If your income is $30,000 and the poverty line is $14,000, then you will pay 20% of $16,000, or $3,200 per year, which is $267 per month. Plus, before they can force you to pay anything, they must take into account your monthly expenses, such as rent, food, children, insurance, medical cost, etc. Thus, the 267 a month could drop to zero. There are three kinds of income repayment plans, and they're all basically the same. Plus, all three are also loans consolidation plans. They are income-based repayment, pay-as-you-earn, income-contingent repayment plan. These plans will keep you from defaulting on your student loans. In the past, these plans would have gotten you out of a default and make you current on your student loans. Now, today, year 2020, they have eliminated this benefit. Every few years they keep changing the rules, so talk to your loan services company to see if they changed it back. Parent Plus loans are also eligible for an income contingent repayment plan. Usually when you run out of deferments or forbearances is when you will enroll in an income repayment plan but you can enroll in one at any time. Plus, if you enroll in one of these plans, you will lose any kind of deferments or forbearances. However, if you are in one of these plans and you have no income, then you pay zero. However, it's not an automatic enrollment. You have to request it. And most of the time, they will not tell you about it. Plus, even if your monthly payments are zero, an income repayment plan will not prevent you from receiving a discharge on your student loans. There have been many people enrolled in an income repayment plan and were able to get their student loans discharged. However, there is a catch, so listen closely. The downside is that you will lose all your deferments or forbearances. Thus, if you do not pay the interest, your loans will continue to grow each year. Consequently, if your loan amount was $10,000, then in 25 years, that loan amount might become $20,000 to $50,000. This depends on the interest rate. Any amount that remains after 25 years of participation in the income repayment plan is automatically discharged. Thus, after 25 years, you still have $100,000 of student loans, then the $100,000 is discharged. The trick is that this kind of discharge is not the same as a bankruptcy discharge. In a bankruptcy discharge, 
you do not pay taxes on the amount that was discharged. In an income contingent repayment plan discharge, you pay taxes on the amount that was discharged. Thus, after 25 years, you still have the $100,000 of student loans. Then the amount of taxes you might owe will be about $20,000 to $30,000. You cannot file bankruptcy on this kind of taxes. However, this is only if you have assets greater than $20,000 to $30,000. If you have no assets to sell to pay the tax debt, then you only have to fill out an IRS form telling the IRS you have no assets to pay the tax debt. Then the IRS will forgive this debt. In addition, the IRS might give you a financial hardship, which means that the IRS will forgive this tax debt. If you only have equity in the home you live in and a retirement account, then the IRS might forgive this tax debt. A car is not an asset. Plus, you need a car to get to work, buy groceries, etc. If you have to sell your house, where are you going to live? If you have kids, you have to take care of your kids, health insurance, etc. Thus, the IRS might forgive the debt. Social Security Income Repayment Plan If you are collecting Social Security and you are not enrolled in an income repayment plan, then your income from Social Security can be garnished to pay your student loans. If you are enrolled in an income repayment plan and all of your income is from Social Security, then your monthly student loans payment will be zero. For people who are collecting Social Security, the government does not consider Social Security to be income for an income repayment plan. Only the income that can be used to pay your income tax can be used to make payments on an income repayment plan. Income from Social Security is not taxable income. If all your income is from Social Security, then your adjusted gross income on your taxes should be zero. Thus, your income is below the poverty level. You have to request an income repayment plan and then send them a copy of your taxes each year. Disability Discharge Application or Total and Permanent Disability You can find this form on the internet or at the U.S. Department of Education website. If you are collecting Social Security Disability, then you can fill out a discharge application for total and permanent disability and have your student loans automatically discharged after three years of being on Social Security Disability. However, your reward letter from Social Security must state that your next review will be five years or more. If your review is less than five years, then you will not qualify for a disability discharge. If you do not have a copy of your reward letter, then write Social Security and ask for a benefits plan inquiry. A benefits plan inquiry will have your next review date, and you can use this as proof that your review date is or was more than five years. For people that are collecting regular retirement Social Security, they might be able to have a doctor complete the discharge application for total and permanent disability. Thus, if a doctor said that you cannot work for the next five years, then you might be able to get a discharge on your student loans through a discharge application for total and permanent disability. You will not owe any taxes if your discharge is from a total and permanent disability. Social Security and Chapter 7 Bankruptcy According to Federal Law 1-1 U.S.C. Section 101 10-A-B, -B, your income from Social Security cannot be used to deny you a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. This is because for a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, Social Security or any other payment related to a disability cannot be used to calculate your current disposable income. Thus, your monthly payments under a Chapter 13 bankruptcy will be zero. If your income is zero, or under the poverty level, then you should qualify to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. If you are collecting Social Security and you are enrolled in an income repayment plan, then you should have a simpler time getting a bankruptcy discharged. This is because you are not working. Your income is set for the rest of your life, and the court has to take into consideration all of your current and potential medical expenses. The older you get, the more medical expenses you will have. Social Security Disability or Veterans Disability Discharge If you are receiving Social Security Disability or are a disabled veteran, 
then you might not have to file for bankruptcy to discharge your government student loans. Private student loan companies might have similar processes, but you have to contact them to find out. You have to contact the U.S. Department of Education or Nelnet. Nelnet handles all disability claims for the U.S. Department of Education. Once you contact them, they will tell you what to do and what you need. It is a simple procedure. Website www.disabilitydischarge.com Phone number 1-888-303-7818 Email disabilityinformation at nailnet.net All you have to do is fill out a discharge application for total and permanent disability and submit it to Nelnet. Remember the requirements are 1. Your disability has to last more than 5 years and 2. Your student loans will not be discharged until after a three-year monitoring period.